Have you ever experienced a time when you were following God in many areas, yet held back in others? What does it mean to walk faithfully without allowing compromises to hinder our devotion? In 2 Kings 15, we are introduced to King Azariah, also known as Uzziah, who begins his reign in Judah with faithfulness but allows compromises to persist. Although he does what is right in the eyes of the Lord, he fails to remove the high places where people continue to offer sacrifices outside of God's prescribed worship in Jerusalem. His reign is a reminder that while partial obedience can yield blessings, compromise can open doors to unforeseen consequences. Psalm 20, verse 6, offers assurance in God's protection for those who seek Him with a faithful heart. Now I know that the Lord saves His anointed. He answers Him from His holy heaven with the saving power of His right hand. Azariah's story demonstrates that while God honors those who act in righteousness, incomplete faithfulness can prevent a full experience of God's intended blessings. Like Psalm 20, verse 7, which encourages trust in God over earthly strength. Azariah's life reminds us that true trust in God is demonstrated through complete obedience, not partial compromises. Exploring Key Insights with Concordance Details Faithful but not fully devoted, in verse 3, Azariah did what was right in the eyes of the Lord, but he allowed the high places to remain. The Hebrew word for right here is yashar, meaning upright or pleasing. While Azariah's actions are generally pleasing to God, they are not fully aligned with his will due to the compromises that persisted. This aligns with Psalm 20 verse 4, where complete devotion allows God to fulfill the desires of the heart. Azariah's story shows that half-hearted obedience can limit the depth of blessings and protection that come from wholehearted devotion. The impact of leaving high places, verse 4, states that the high places were not removed. The Hebrew term Bama, meaning high place, refers to sites where people offered sacrifices, often outside of God's prescribed temple worship. These locations symbolize incomplete faith, representing areas in which Azariah allowed worship practices that were not in line with God's instructions. Psalm 20, verse 5, speaks of joy in victory when we align ourselves with God's will. By allowing high places to remain, Azariah's reign is marked by a missed opportunity to bring Judah into full alignment with God's intended worship practices. The Consequences of Compromise Although Azariah does what is right, he suffers from leprosy, a physical consequence that separates him from his people and restricts him from fully engaging in his duties as king. The Hebrew word for leprosy, Zareth, represents both physical and spiritual impurity. This affliction serves as a symbol of how compromise can lead to separation, not just physically but spiritually, from God's blessings. In contrast, Psalm 20 verse 1 speaks of God's response in times of distress. Azariah's leprosy signifies that even when one does much that is pleasing to God, allowing compromises can create distance between us and God's fullest intentions for us. A Legacy of Partial Faithfulness Azariah's reign is recorded as a mix of righteousness and compromise, leaving a legacy that is less impactful than it could have been. He is remembered for his uprightness, but also for failing to bring Judah into full obedience. The Hebrew word zakar, meaning to remember, underscores that the impact of a reign or life is defined by both faithfulness and compromises. Psalm 20 verse 7 encourages a reliance on God's strength, not on divided loyalties. Azariah's partial obedience reveals that true impact comes from a life that trusts fully in God without allowing compromises to remain. A Closing Prayer Heavenly Father, thank you for the example of King Azariah, which reminds us of the importance of full devotion to you. Help us, Lord, to walk in obedience without allowing compromises to enter our lives. May we tear down any high places within us that keep us from fully worshiping and trusting you. Grant us the courage to live without divided hearts, knowing that true blessings come from complete faithfulness. Cover each viewer with your grace 
and guide them in seeking you wholeheartedly. In Jesus Christ's name, amen. Call to action. Reflect on a time when you have seen God's justice at work in your life. Please leave comments on how you have experienced God's intervention or how you are seeking his guidance. Your engagement, liking, sharing, and subscribing helps spread God's word. Please share prayer requests in the comments, fostering a supportive community.